Hello everyone. Good evening. In today's lecture, we will go ahead and begin with the introduction of statistics. The aim of this lecture is to make you aware of what statistics is all about, to help you understand what we would be covering as part of the course of statistics. To also help you understand what is a variable, what are the different kinds of variable. And uh, through different exams, how do we want to go ahead and cope up uh, this part of statistics? So to begin with, when I go ahead and I talk about statistics, this entire statistics can be divided into the following parts. The first part of statistics is where we go ahead and we talk about the frequency distribution and measures of central tendency. Now, when I talk about the measures of central tendency, frequency distribution rarely comes in exam. We'll talk about that today itself. But when I talk about the measures of central tendency, mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, all of these. First of all, we'll talk about central tendency. So mean, median, mode, these three are what we are going to go ahead and talk about in this first part. We'll then go ahead and talk about the measure of dispersion and this is where I will be talking about the range, quartile deviation, variance, standard deviation, etc. And their coefficients also, coefficient of dispersion, coefficient of variation. So every day when I will go ahead and do a topic with you, post that I will give you 10 to 15 even more recorded questions based out of only that topic. You will go back, you will practice those questions on the same day so that when you come for the next class, you are completely in touch with what we have done the last time. So you should be thorough with what we have done the last time. The third thing that comes under this is skewness and courtesies. Examiners sometimes would test some uh, formula based on skewness and courtesies. I will show you what kind of questions come in accordance with this part. So this is your first part of statistics where we talk about measures of central tendency, me measures of dispersion, skewness and courtesies. The second aspect of statistics that we would be focusing on and the major one, very, very major one. Especially when you take entrance exams, this is the most important part of statistics. If I talk about entrance exams like IIT, DSC, ISI, etc., this comes for the majority of statistics, which is the theory of probability. When I talk about theory of probability, I will be talking about basically, the, we'll begin with the initial theory. So we will talk about, okay, what is the theory of probability linking to the set theory, union, intersection, probability A, union B, probability A, intersection B, probability A given B. Then we will be talking something which is related to, we will go ahead and we will talk about what is an independent set, what is a mutually exclusive set. Then we'll talk about what is Bayes theorem, very, very important. Usually one question will be on Bayes theorem. Then we will talk about this probability in terms of permutations and combination. 
we'll we'll go ahead and we'll take one complete part only on permutation i will give you different type of questions related to permutation and different type related to combination that's the second part of this so here you may want to go ahead and write down we will talk about what is an event and we'll do this in detail don't worry what is the law of addition of probability what is the multiplicative law then we will talk about the entire set theory linked to probability what are the independent events what happens when we have independent events what is bayes theorem and all of this and the third part of statistics is majorly linked to random variables and distribution functions very important not only from the point of view of any exam but the distribution functions are even important once you enter your course so if you are doing your masters in economics if you are doing phd in economics if you are in any government organization everywhere this distribution function becomes very very important so here we will go ahead and we will talk about what is the probability density function what is probability mass function what is joint probability density function what is joint probability mass function what is stochastic inference we will talk about all of that as part of this third part then we will go ahead and we'll i'll take you through the fourth part here acha isme when i talk about this na i will also talk about two different kind of distribution functions so one will be discrete distributions and one will be continuous distributions post this one is talking about these basic functions pdf pms j pdf jpmf and then we will be talking about discrete and continuous functions so for example this will cover what is a normal distribution what is a uniform distribution that all part this will cover what is your bernoulli distribution what is binomial distribution what is exponential distribution what is geometric distribution so we will go ahead and we will talk about these kind of distributions in detail that's the next part and then at the last we will go ahead and we will finally talk about your um, i don't want to call it completely econometrics i will call it as regression analysis econometrics is a big chunk okay econometrics would consist of a lot of things econometrics consists of the basic least square but it also consists of different functional forms it also consists of multicollinearity problem autocorrelation specification bias heteroscedasticity etc 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 in statistics currently we don't need that econometrics what we are going to go ahead and do is we are going to learn only that part which is required currently for our exam perspective especially when we talk about the iit entrance exam that's the current motive that i have in mind right so we are going to go ahead and we are going to talk about curve fitting we'll talk about the principle of least square we'll talk about correlation and regression and that's it beyond this you anyways have that in your recordings you have every all the econometrics 13 chapter if you want you can pick it up on now otherwise pay give some time later for your other entrance exams 
if required we will do it otherwise for iit perspective this is it that you have to do only this part of regression analysis would be required so we would be currently doing only this much these are the different things that you should know Achha, one thing i forgot here i should have written that as four and this as five which are the sampling distribution so chi square uh, f test z test t test etc so which means you can write that as actually this will be your fifth and i will do that as four this would be my hypothesis testing So in this, we will do Z test, I square test, F test, and T test. This is what we would be focusing on as part of hypothesis testing. No, not, they don't have that defined as part of syllabus. Only regression analysis will come, but uh, they would not deep dive into specification bias, or what happens if the CLRM module is not, uh, you know, the assumptions are not met, or, you know, what happens if uh, you have a particular log log functional form, lin log functional form, usually that does not come in the IIT entrance exam. That's not part of their syllabus. So this is exactly how I would like to go ahead and divide statistics for the day. Now,